Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the whisper of the day. But before we get to today's whisper, you know it, we got to talk about yesterday's. If you had a chance to listen to yesterday's whisper, uh, we were still bullish on XLF. In fact, this was the whisper for two straight days in a row, and it's been fantastic. Yesterday's level, we were bullish above 21 and this thing climbed all the way to like 21 68 and guess what we spotted sell prints it looks like profit taking uh, we're going to use that as a level we spotted 2 million print uh, let me see if i can just get that up for you guys so you can see what we spotted here i love this software live all pro i can go back two years and it has dark pool data in it all right so we spotted these prints coming in at 2.46 p.m., uh, 21.68. Actually, this one was only 1.3 million, but then another 2.5 million also came in at 21.65. So we're going to use these levels as a marker, bullish above, bearish below, no thinking. All right, yesterday also TBF. Oh, yeah, we were still bearish on the bonds. When the bonds go down... TBF and TBT go up, all right? So remember we spotted that big print that was like a birthday gift. And you know what, coincidentally, cousin's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, cousin. And yes, you were the trader of the day because you know why? You do all these things for us in the Java Pit. You count those prints up every single day. Highly appreciated, so thank you and happy birthday. Um, now let's just go back to TBF. We spotted a 300,000 print pre-market at 8 o'clock in the morning, which is rare. When I see rare, unusual prints, they usually become the whisper of the day. And so we were bullish above 23, and we did a retest. We bounced back down to it. Buyers were still there. Now I traded TBT off that bounce. Uh, I, for me, it's a little bit more liquid of a stock. But there were three ways you could have bought TBF at 23. You could have bought TBT or you could have shorted TLT, which was also another great trade. All right, so what are we watching today? Well, besides that XLF, this is the huge, huge print. Um, sorry, on I. AU, you see it right here in my time and sales window, 8 million. Now this is the third big print that we spotted this week and I'm having deja vu. Remember when we spotted the big buy prints down here? Well, guess what? Looks like it's the same guy selling, taking his profit. It was a nice run. Uh, so we spotted the first prints coming in at 1255. We spotted other prints coming in at 1227, some at 1224, and this morning, 1209. So it's really easy. We're going to use this as a marker. If we close below that, extremely bearish on the gold. So watch it today and watch it tomorrow, and we'll see how this happens. All right, so come watch me trade along with my fantastic traders. But you guys, I'm going to Vegas next week. Uh, next week is the Vegas Traders Expo. I'm one of the key speakers. In fact, I'll be doing a four-hour presentation, uh, mastering the tape by following the dark pool. I'll also be doing another presentation, a 45-minute, called How to Make a Day's Pay uh, Before You Go to Work. So if you're going to be around Vegas, come on down. I'm so excited to meet so many of my traders, and I look forward to it. Happy trading, everybody.